Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Techie Technion. In the previous video, we learnt about a login form, and in this video, we are going to learn about a checkout form. Let's see one example. Open your browser and check any checkout form on any shopping website. I am going to visit sassystore.co.in. Add any product to cart. I made this very simple website using WordPress and this is the checkout form. See, first name, last name. We are going to keep it simple. So, let's start coding. Make a new file, checkout form. Copy the previous code for simple part. We are going to code only this part for the time being. Change the title to checkout form. Remove the content part. Just keep the form tag. Now what we have? First name and last name. We are going to write. We are going to take labels for all these values and input as text for and input as type text for all these values. Okay. There is a drop down menu here. A checkbox here. We are going to keep all these. For phone number, we are going to stick to the length of 10. Let's start loading. Keep it name. Close this. Close this. Then I'm then input attribute having name as name ID name. Placeholder type as text or one label is for address. Another is for city, then state, and then pin code. See, I've taken one label for city, then state, and then pin code. Same way, input for city, state, and then pin code. And in pin code, I have given a length limit that is 6. Now save this and click on live preview just to check just to check whether we are going correct or not what we are seeing it is aligned in the same line since these are inline elements we need to provide break statement to align it one after the other okay in the same way we will take the input for phone number first I break wherever it is needed see it is aligned one after the other we will have a drop down menu for the type of delivery provider whether it is DTDC or India Post or FedEx etc. Write a simple P tag for choosing a shipping option.
select tag is used for providing the drop down menu we give it the id ship it. all the options are provided using option tag option number 1 is for dtdc then the second is for then the second is for india post third is for blue dot we will select the payment option using radio buttons nothing special is required for radio buttons instead of type equals to text or password we are going to write type is equal to radio simple p tag for the payment option statement now we will provide a label for the first payment method then we will use input tag with type equals to radio value will be ptm id will also be ptm but name will be payment close the tag and click on refresh we get paytm option in the similar way we will provide google pay and paypal as other option save this we can see three option radio buttons has one benefit you can select only one item at a time you can't select two items where in case of check boxes we can select more than one item at a time now comes the part for check boxes whether the user wants to sign updates for regular magazines or not in this case also just the input type will change to check box paste the above value and change the values here if you want you can include a text area for comments and here also the type will change to text area if you want if you want you can also provide the user some suggestion box we can use text area for this and then the text area attribute and the text and the closing text area tag save this you can see here now the last thing is left is to add a button here to submit the form can save if you provide a link here then this button will take you to the next same that is payment gateway page thank you for listening to this video in the next video we are going to learn about text decoration